you're supposed to, when you get money, you're supposed to come out the neighborhood. No, your neighborhood's supposed to come up with you. And uh, it shouldn't be the way that it's been, but it's a sad thing to know that it, it ain't till somebody gone that people start wanting to say how good they are, why they here. And why are they doing what they doing? You know what I'm saying? But you know, and that proves the fact is that's why they get killed. Same thing, Nipsey Hussle. Nipsey Hussle was down there buying up where he knew that it was gonna be powerful and bad, and that's what they were doing. And they didn't want him to do that. They didn't want him to wake up everybody. So at the end of the day, whether people believe in conspiracy theory, what I know for a fact is the things that I've been affected with can't nobody tell me shit about it. I know I'm the one that's got to be the one. To do what I got to do for my motherfucking self. And if I had to depend on anybody else to do it, they'll tell me to throw in the towel. I ain't asking nobody to throw in the towel on nothing they doing, but if they suffering, it ain't my fault. But I do know a way out. And the way out is for us to work together, and everybody has to get in position, and people need to know what their rank is. And when people don't know what their rank is, they get out of place. You know, and being out of place, is that you are undisciplined and as a people that's what we are we don't know how to respect each other yeah as well as, as well, i keep telling you um me personally uh i got information and resources that you can use if you want to jump on that you can hit us up at the website at www.bid2010.org and look at the website and link I'm trying to put something together with all the nonprofits together and we could have had turkey drives going on. We could have had tart drives going on. We could have had a whole bunch of stuff going without on. Without information and without waking people up, ain't nobody going to move nothing. Everybody always waiting for somebody to make the first move. But you know what, Lonnie? Okay. All that's trinket stuff anyway. Here's the deal. That's This is the time of the year that everybody's supposed to be coming together. Everybody's supposed to be joyous and happy, but everybody running around trying to fake it. No, Everybody trying to fucking feel they got them credit card. Let's not play that shit. One thing, one thing. Motherfuckers gonna mean. go broke and be broke next year again. Yeah, yeah. With some bullshit, fake ass shit. That's all it is to it, you know. <laughs> at the end of the day, I'm telling you, that's. I mean, that's why motherfuckers don't like talking to me because at the end of the day, it don't make no sense. Motherfucker buying Louis Gucci and shit ain't buying property and ain't buying land. That shit pisses me off. So at the end of the day. That sharecropping shit, niggas ain't got shit, niggas need shit. Yep. You gonna do what the fuck, what y'all so called the white man mm -hmm. uh, all the time. And, and, it's the and, white man's money. And, and, and we don't use that word on my show because it ain't black and white is not on this show. Yeah, but I'm just saying that's, the, but that's the first thing that come out their mouth. Yep, yep, yep. And everybody trying to get the same goddamn thing is what you value. You gotta have something worth being valued. Well, we got the, we got the information avenue. To get with the information out, and you know we're gonna get uh, Miss Ernie. We want you to play us a little something on the bongo for. We gonna put that on right quick. We'll bring Miss Ernie out. Y'all listen to what I'm saying. It takes a tribe. It's a nonprofit. You got Blessed the Sky is a nonprofit. We got the Houston Cougar team, football team. We got a, a banquet that we little league, little, little league, league, not not the college team. Little league. We got a little league that been in it for how long? Well, man, for sister seven. Listen, they over there in, on the north side of town. I'm telling you, we look, I'm we got, on the all side of we town. We've got 80 kids. We have 80 kids that we sponsor right now. Okay. And they finna have a banquet. And we have, we have, a, have, a, have a, first, first, first banquet they had to raise they, money for the they team. They ain't went over there and, giving and, them and no fidget. turkeys. Ain't nobody went over there giving them Nobody, nothing. nobody. And all them projects over there. What's the name of them projects over there? Third of Shaw Apartments. Man, listen, yeah. I'm not here to play games. So what I'm saying is. I have the resources to put the plugs and the connection to get what we need done to go to the next level. Okay, so we're going to be doing the Houston, the Houston Cougars Little League football team. We have 80 kids. We've got cheerleaders. And we're trying to do a raise of money for uh, equipment. And and we're getting ready to go out there and redo their concession stand and their, their football field and all that stuff. Y'all just, we just putting y'all on notice. In the, uh, Houston. They're going to say show and tell. Yes, Houston. Because we're talking about it now. That's where, where we... See, because we trying to talk about it, we giving them our schedule, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And so they got a preview. So And we giving y'all the people who recognize that's behind this here, okay? I'm going to put it out there because they didn't even have money to rent the hall. No, you know. Uh -huh. Okay, uh -huh. okay. And, and they pretty strapped for cash. We got so many kids 
living in poverty that they don't have the money to take care of all those kids. Them kids do the after school program. It'd be a goes. slew of them over they, there. When they leave school, they hang out over there with the coach. The Houston Cougar uh, 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 field where everybody go at. And they always breaking in their stuff. And they leave the kids there for, for babysitting. They leave the kids there. We, and we have, uh, uh, after uh, the practice, uh, a lunch that uh, Miss Renee sponsored that we feed the kids. We, we bring food out there and sandwiches for them after the football practice. And we just want y'all to get involved. And we're going to put a garden out there. So I want to bring a team of uh, men together to go out there and help the men folk that's out there. Because I really think they do enough. And we should be in the day and got lights out there. Uh, it's a lot of stuff. I didn't already, we didn't already filmed it. It went out there and saw all the needs. And uh, I have some wood from some stuff. I'm just saying, man. You got, if you got 80 kids, you got 80 parents. Where are they? That's what I'm saying. Well, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> but we know where those kids come from. Yeah. And we know in those apartments, ain't, ain't, it's one parent. So we have to go back to doing the old way. Yeah. You put, uh, you a put a pamphlet, a flyer in the head and say, look, Mom. We need y'all to be involved. With the banquet that we got to come up with next, the next episode that we do, we're gonna come up with the date and the time and the location because we already and uh, Mr. Kevin and he the one who sponsored the whole banquet. Whole, put the money down for it. Now we got to come in and bring the people in, and we're gonna bring some entertainment. We're gonna bring some stuff different from what they're doing because a lot of old people trying to do all that old stuff. We don't do that old stuff. We try to we try to keep up with, up to date with what's going on, especially when we dealing with kids. Okay. So when we're doing shows and stuff like that, we're doing stuff that's up to date. And they ought to be thankful for that. You know what I'm saying? Well, we're doing stuff to try to find out what their talents are. And, and, you know, and we give it, we give we gonna give everybody an opportunity to have a platform. So we ain't just no just the kids. Yeah, one it's way. gonna be everybody to have an opportunity. You ain't gonna hear me cussing all the time. You know, he be cussing all night. That's all right. Okay. He worked all day, he tired. Yeah. Right. Yeah. See, yeah. Y'all got those things. So we work, we got a job, we work. But right now we gotta say that. And I ain't begging. I'm telling y'all, I got I got shit to offer. And when I say I got it to offer, I ain't got time for motherfuckers. And I'm t- I mean this with every fucking thing in me. I, with every fucking thing in me, I, I swear to he you. He on his line. If y'all. you he know, know listen, it, never, listen. Tell him what you want to say. Listen. If you don't mean me no good, don't come and fuck around me. Just stay the fuck away. If you ain't trying to get with the program I'm on, stay the fuck away. Cause I'm yeah, I'm moving like a, a tray frame. I'm a fucking Leo. Y'all motherfuckers are always talking about you Leos. Don't listen to nobody. You know damn well I ain't going to listen to you. I believe in heaven on earth. I ain't going to have no motherfucker around me being dreadful and all that shit. I only see a way out. I don't see defeat. You know what I'm saying? I ain't that motherfucker. You know, I ain't begging them. I've been around this world by my motherfucking self. And I ain't bragging on it, but I've been there by my motherfucking self. I went to, I've been to federal prison. I've been to state prison by my motherfucking self. Ain't nobody fuck with me. I changed my environment. It's a bunch of bullshit going on with a bunch of bullshit ass motherfuckers that don't want to stand up for what's right. Speaking of the bull, <laughs> let's, let's, let's go down to where it says eating and supply and demand. Mm-hmm. They holding the, the ships at bay and every major it's game port been across played. the country. And they already said Look, that, let me tell you something. That, that, that they going to do the economy. Until after the first of the year. And you think I'm going to do Christmas? So do whoever ain't got no food, whoever ain't got no food in their ice box. get a garden in. I'm, I'm putting I, them I, in I, as I, fast I, as I, I can. I promise you, a lot of people don't have no food in the ice box right now. Ice box, no so, so I remember yeah. when I was little, when we did Thanksgiving, we had prepared for Thanksgiving the whole week in advance to put stuff up. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just telling y'all, I'm enjoying my family. I'm enjoying my kids. I'm enjoying my grandkids. Because the tradition that we have is unity. Right. The tradition that we have is respect. That, I you ain't here to argue. Peace is the number one thing around your family. You need peace and love. You got to have love. Because without love, you can't see God's face. You're just wasting your time. And you don't love nothing, and nothing ain't going to love you. So I'm just letting y'all know. So yeah. we, we care, we, we're going to be covering a lot of stuff that needs to be said. If you want to be a part of it, you can be a part of it. I've been out here doing this a long time. And I ain't got time to play with you. I'm doing this shit for real. You well, know Lonnie, and, and careful we go. If you don't want your community to grow, keep doing what you're doing. No, nah, I want mine to grow. They in my community. Yeah. Listen, I'm telling y'all, them folk back there, the police came in on me. I got a right to be the way I am now. Well, they coming in on our children up Listen, the they study doing the same thing, y'all. Listen. Another result. And they twisting the stuff. Hmm. 
It's the stuff that you shouldn't be worried about that you're worried about, and the shit you should be worried about you're not worried about. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, we're in a position where we could grow some stuff. Anybody got an argument with me about what I'm doing? I tell you, every time I do these lives, the shit I get. Well, live is just what it's saying. Yeah, well, it was. It was. Stay the fuck away from you, me. You already know that everybody have their own way about how they come across what they want to explain. You know what I'm saying? Me, I'm a journalist. My opinion does not even matter. Okay? Whatever somebody say to come out this mouth, they mouth does has nothing to do with me and the stuff that we produce. You understand what I'm saying? Because this, everybody got an opinion and have a right to say what's right. Well, if you're saying the right stuff, I ain't got no problem with that. Because I'm going to listen. And that's what we have a problem with. We don't listen to nobody. What the boy say? If you understand the words coming out of my mouth. Yeah, if you listen, listen I'm listening. You, you can accept you it or reject it. You ain't got to say nothing. Well, don't open yourself. your mouth and give no opinion. That I don't really, This man don't want I your don't opinion. Know nobody happy anybody with the situation your, nobody, care about, nobody care about their opinion. We care about the truth. And that's help. it. Help yourself. Because I'll yourself. tell you what. I've seen it before. I seen it when people say, "Hey man, y'all need to stir up uh, two, three hundred cases of water because the mm-hmm. water finna go extinct, gonna be uh, a shortage of water." Oh, you gonna wait till the last minute when ain't got no water? But if you know how to get it, yeah. and you know where it's at, and you know how to filter it, it got people give you free water. You just gotta go get it, and they tell you stack up on water, free water. Well, you know, they tell you stack up on your hurricane uh, uh, emergency kits. I probably everybody who's looking at me right now go. I bet you, you got a, a hurricane emergency kit in your house right now. Mm. But John Branch them up there. See, mm-hmm. this is what they hinder us from. Mm-hmm. We have done had our, our cert team done and stuff already. Mm-hmm. We have done had that. Mm-hmm. But you hit on That's point. our emergency place. You hit a major point. That we you know. have to have resources that you can create a phone call away. Knowing how to feel. Or a block away. Water. You better know what's up, Matt. Give you that You're going to need stuff like that. When mm-hmm. people tell you something is coming...